Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the shared responsibility model. And this is a simple visualization that helps you determine what the customer is responsible for and what Google is responsible for related to the Google Cloud platform. And every cloud service provider has one of these models. They vary. Generally, the categories are different. Uh, they just break them down slightly different, but generally they're all the same. So we're going to spend a little bit extra time with the shared responsibility model uh, just because it does show up on the exam and it's a very important concept. So I just want to make sure that you know it uh, uh, crystal clear and uh, from all angles, okay? So uh, generally these things are broken down into uh, different categories. So we have infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, the types of cloud computing. And then we have um, uh, along the side, a bunch of uh, categories or responsibilities. Uh, and this, again, these are Google specific ones. So you have content, access policies, usage, deployment, web app security, identity, operations, access and authentication, network security, guest OS data and its content, audit logging, networking, uh, storage and encryption, hardware kernel, IPC, that's like inter-protocol something something. It, it doesn't matter, but uh, it's just something of the level, the boot. Uh, hardware. And so the idea is that you have things that Google are responsible and things that you're responsible for. So for a software, it's a service and notice how much blue there is, you have the least responsibility, which is great, because then you can just focus on fewer things. But uh, remember, SaaS is something like Microsoft Word. So imagine what you could put in Microsoft Word, you'd write your article, right? So that's the content, you might share it with somebody and you're just using the platform. So that's SaaS, then you have platform as a service. Remember, this is like something like App Engine, where you have your web application, you built it, Ruby on Rails, Laravel, Next.js, whatever you want, you deploy it, you upload your code, so that's the, the content itself, and you, you have to choose how you want to deploy it, and you're uh, responsible for the security of that application because you're the one who built it, right? Um, so there's that, then there's infrastructure as a service. This is the basic building blocks. The idea here is you can launch a virtual machine. And so if you do that, then you are responsible for the guest OS. So you're actually adjusting OS layer stuff. And then everything under, uh, underneath is, um, is Google's responsibility. So the customer is responsible for the data and the configuration of access controls that reside in GCP. The customer is responsible for the configuration of cloud services and granting access uh, via permissions. Notice I keep using the word configuration. I highlight it in red. It's just to help you remember if you can configure it, you're responsible for it. Google is generally responsible for the underlying infrastructure. So it's the hardware. This is a concept from AWS. Uh, I wish all of them uh, would use it, uh, but the idea is there's the in the cloud and of the cloud. So in the cloud is talking about you, the customer. If you can configure or store it, the customer, then you are responsible for it. And of the cloud is if you cannot configure it, then Google is generally the one that is gonna be responsible for it, okay?